all right people welcome back to our next video guys all right so today guys i got some exciting news for you guys as you may know or as you may not know lost scaling have released new update and this is lost scaling 3.0 right so this scaling brings a lot more features a lot of bug fixes and improved performance right overall for this application so right now i think it's gonna give amd fluid motion frames to a run for its money right but let me get into it real quick guys and i'll show you what's going on and what's the gameplay looking like right all right so let first let me just show you what the, all the new features and what's going on with the update so first if you come into loss of scaling you have to right click on it and you go to properties then you go to betas and then you just gotta go here and then click on beta and then you will be able to see the new lost the scaling right so that's how you get to it so now when you come down here it shows you all the key features so right here it says key improvement include so better quality and reduce flickering and artifact so the artifact is when you see some random stuff in your screen and flickering around your character and stuff like that so that, that that's good so it's also saying it's smoother experience overall so it's lower the gpu load as well so this right here is a key by reducing the load on gpu it should be more efficient on your system and it should be running smoother and your fps should be a lot smoother than before guys come down a little bit it says improve latency that's good as well if you try and play some shooting games all right so base frame rate so a minimum of 30 is required but 40 and up would be give you a better performance which 60 fps is ideal most likely most of these games on this um ad hells they won't be hitting 60 fps base but you should be able to get 30 running around 40 base on some games. So once you're in these FPS right here, guys, your overall frame generator frames should be doubling to a lot, right? So as long as you hit about 30 and between 30 and 40, you should be good. Then if you come down here, it's saying average latency. And then if you come down a little bit more, it's going to show you how to actually get to lost to scaling 3.0, right? Let me just get into the games real quick and i'll show you what's going on guys all right so right here this is the new loss of scaling look so if you come in here so frame generator frames you want to put it in 3.0 mode put it on x2 and the resolution scale this is key right here you want to keep it around like 65 around there just to have give you an in between between the fps and your graphics as well come down nothing else on the side i was messing with anything over here come over here you could choose your scaling type so you can go back to original SGSR or any other one you want to use, guys. So I'm just, or LSS1 as well. I'm going to go with FSR right for right now. Then you can mess with the sharpness as well, up or down, depending on how sharp you want the game to look. Then come down here. You got sick mode and off, allow tearing. And then max latency, you got it on three. All right, so with my Legion Go settings, so I'm rocking with 30 watts right now, 35 and then 41. Also got it on performance. And then efficiency, come down to my resolution, run the 1200p at 144Hz. Alright, so this is Black Mint Wukong right now. Right now, base is our 4037. You see it's 36, 39. So I'm going to cap it. Right, this is this is with no frame gen on, guys. So this is with no frame gen on. So I'm just going to see the base average around like 30 something. So I'm going to cap it around like 35, right? This is, this is it without the frame generation on, right? So let's run on a little bit more. All right, so let's turn it on now and then see what happens. Hit upscale, go back to the game. All right, so now if you look over here, basically like what, about 31 and 62, I didn't cap it yet. So right now I'm getting around like 61 guys, 63. Let's go over here real quick. Sixty right now. So around like 32. So I'm so I'm gonna cap the FPS around like 30 and see if there's any other improvements, guys. River River Tuna should be showing the frame gen frames, but for some reason it's not. Maybe I got something off. But if you look top left right here, you'll see it, which is the right number. That is the frame generator frame that I'm getting, 67. So let me see if I could cap it right now with River Tuner and then see what happens one more time. And this is our 1200p, guys, remember? So let's cap it around like 31. Head back to the game. 
All right, so if you look right now, it's stable at 31. It's not going up or down. That's the base FPS. And now my frame rate of the frames is around like 62 average around like right there, guys. So this is good. And this is at 1200p. Just remember that as well. Smooth. Let's see if there's any artifact around ghosting like that. Not There is ghosting around his head. Yep, it's still there. I can see the improvement before the update, guys. I'm not going to lie. The improvement is there. The game fit, the gameplay is a lot smoother as well. And this is a tough game to run. Very tough game to run on these handhelds. So keep that in mind as well. Let's go around here see if I see any enemies. As I said before, River Tuna should be showing the, F the frame generated frames, but it's not. Alright, so for anyone that plays this game, right? Black Mint Wukong, you guys, you know this game is hard to run on these systems, right? Especially at end game in chapter 6. So let me get on my cloud and then we're going to see the FPS and what I'm getting, right? Let me summon my cloud real quick. Let's fly up. So basically an FSR 3 built inside the game. At this point, I'll be getting around like 20, 40 FPS with FSR 3. But if you look right here, I'm getting around like 61, 50. I have around like 50 right now. So it's, it's some smooth gameplay. I'm not going to lie to you. So right now, loss of scaling is beating out FSR 3 by a lot. So that's, that should show you how efficient loss of scaling is right now. So if you look, see 50 FPS, 51. I'm about to turn on FSR 3 inside the game and disable lossless scaling so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about but if you're playing this game on this handheld guys this is the way to go right now not gonna lie to you this is the way to go i'm also gonna show you guys some boss gameplay fight as well so you guys can see but the base fps right now is 26 26 around 27 around there and it's doubling to 54 right now with lots of scaling Right here, as I said before, right here is hard to run, guys. So let me just go back down and I'll show you the difference between FSR 3 and then loss of scaling. So Alright, so frame gen is on right now. So super resolution is on about, put it, let's put it at 60. Yeah. FSR on and frame gen is on as well. So let's get in back. Right now I'm getting 75 as you can see right there. So River Tuna, FSR 3 does work together. But for some reason, I can't get my loss of scaling to work with river tuna so if you have any idea what i should do let me know in the comment section down below guys guys because i've seen people using river tuna with the lost less scaling and stuff like that so let me get inside the game hit apply get back so now let me summon my cloud one more time right now my 53 on the ground let me summon my cloud go up in the air and look at that see what i'm talking about see the difference so i'm at 30 right now 33 in the same area and the gameplay is choppy Chop you guys, not crazy. Chop is still playable. Jump down to 26, 23, and this is with FSR 3 built in frame generator. Everything, guys, you see the difference what I'm talking about. So, loss of scaling is the way to go for this game as of right now. Let me just enable loss of scaling again and head into a boss fight, and then we'll go see the difference as well. There, all right, so let me get into this real quick. And, guys, most likely, I'm going to die. I haven't beaten this guy yet, and it's been a while since I played, right? And he's a tough guy to fight, I'm not gonna lie. So let me just get up here real quick and show you all this. Right now, loss of scaling is active, as you can see. And I'm at 66, and I'm capped at 30 FPS base, right? Let's get up here real quick. Throw this out. Hurry up, bro. Transformer, I'm getting 46. I'm frozen. Forty seven, not bad. Where you went, bro? Where you got? Oh, there you are. I didn't even dodge that, bro. Just 
Let's charge this up real quick. Get out of the air, bro. So 45 around there, 56. And I'm about to die in a second now. Hold that, bro. Hold that. I'm not playing smart. I'm just trying to get you guys some gameplay. Hold that, fella. Where you at, bro? This is the part I hate, man. See why I hate it? And I'm about to die in a minute. This too. FPS is up there. 53. Hold that. I'm about to die in one second. Oh, not yet? All right. All right. Forty-eight, fifty, and it's smooth, guys. Very smooth. And as I said before, this game is very hard to run. Very hard to run. And look at that FPS is up there. Fifty-five. And this is at 1200p, remember that as well. And it's upscaling from 800 to 1200p. And that's what resolution scaling that's built into Lost is scaling. All right guys, so this is Horizon right now. So this is what Lost is scaling. If you look top left again, you see the frames that are the frames. It's on the right side, which is 74 right now. And then 37, which is the base frames on the left. Showing the base on River Tuna as well right here. And I'm getting around 74, 76, and this without it being capped. So as you can see, the frame rate is up and down a little bit, right? And let me see, the ghost is still there. Playing at 1200p, guys, is amazing. So you, this loss of scaling thing is going crazy right now. This is the way to go, guys. So playing at 12, look at that, man. Look at that. So let's see about the ghosting. There is ghosting still present around our head and but the experience is a lot better because it's a lot smoother a lot smoother so let me see if i let me cap the fps real quick and then see what's going on let's see my base is around like 37 let's run around the, right here a little bit 47 38 41 so 35 31 let's see let's cap it around let's cap it around like 31 around there right let's go into river tuna let's cap it around like let's put it at 35 Right, get back to the game. Now it's more stable. So stable at 70 frame getter to frame right now. So look at that. 60, 61, 70. So 35 is a good place to cap it at. And look at the smooth. Yo, it's so smooth right now. So smooth. Let's get into some action real quick. Seeing some dragonness. FPS is dropping right there. So FPS dropped just now to 20, 34, went back up 35, 28 is dropping. So it's best to cap around like 30, I'm guessing then. Yep, it's going crazy right now. So let's change it. How did I die? Let's, let's change the cap and put it around like 30. All right, so now it's capped at 30. Let's go back over here.
a lot smoother. Yeah, so 30 is the way to cap is the way to go for this game. So loss of scaling 3.0 I've just raised the bar for all frame generators, man. Not gonna lie, just raised the bar. This update was is the is the best update that's been released for lost of scaling still having some issues it's, the game is going wonkers right now all right now it's going back up not sure what's going on with that but sometimes it goes up and down i'm i'm guessing it's because of the base fps there's reason why it's fluctuating like that but lost of scaling is still the best thing right now amd flu motion frames 2 still great not gonna lie also want to try that other driver install and try it out AMD full motion frames too on these devices so I'll be doing that soon and we can see what's going on with that as well but basically that's it for now guys um thanks for tuning in let me know what you guys think about loss of scaling or if this is what you're still using at, at the moment over AMD full motion frames too and drop a comment down below guys and if you got any type of video idea for me also hit that like button if you like what I'm posting and sub the channel for more awesome content guys and remember i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in